What's up everyone, my name is Sam and in today's video we're rebuilding the Rich Wallet Hero section which has a custom hero for the mobile viewport. So let's jump into Instant and follow along as I build this page from scratch without code and publish to Shopify. Let's get started. To accomplish a true mobile optimized experience we're going to build two different hero sections. One which is visible only on the mobile viewport and one that is visible on all the other viewports. So let's create the first one. We drag in our base row and we're going to set the height of this row to view and insert 100. We do this to make sure that on whatever viewport we visit this hero section, it will fill up the entire viewport. Then within this row, we drag in two different columns. Then we set the height of these two columns to fill. And then we need to make sure that there's no gap in between these columns, as you can see right here. So we scroll down and we delete the gap that is right now 32 and we make sure it's zero. Then this row on the left, we're going to set it to a fixed width of 100 pixels. And then the row on the right is still set to fill. So it will fill up all the space that is available. This row on the left, we're going to fill with a image. So we scroll down to fill, we go to image, and then we select this image right here, which is also set to fill. Then for this row on the right, we're also going to fill it with a background image, fill image, and then we choose this image right here. Now we're going to drag in some elements. So we're going to drag in a header text element, then another text element underneath and then also a button underneath. Now I want to make sure that these elements are aligned in the center and that there's also a bit of space between the outer edges of the row and where the content starts. So first let's distribute it from the center and then we add some inside spacing to create spacing within this row. So let's add 60 to the left and right and 60 to the top and bottom. Now let's fill in the right content, which is gear build to less prices that won't. Then we're gonna make this text white and we select the right font, which is this font right here. Then we're gonna make it bigger. We're gonna change the size to 64 and there we have it. Then for the text element underneath, this is the correct copy. The font should be Roboto, so let's look it up. There we have it, the color should be white, and then we change it to size 20. Now let's zoom in a little bit to work on the button. So the button should say Shop Prime Time Sale, so let's type it in, Shop Prime Time Sale. Then the font needs to be this font right here, Trade Gothic, we change the size to 20 and then there are these nice round corners but i don't want them so let's make sure they're gone by deleting the radius of a to zero also delete the border that is right now on this button and then we make the button a little bit bigger by changing the inside spacing so we change this to i would say 32 that looks about right and we change this to 12 and there we have it this section looks good on the desktop viewport as well, on the laptop viewport and on the tablet viewport as well. And now we're gonna create the mobile hero section. So let's duplicate this row, right click, click on duplicate. And then we're gonna make a few changes. So right now the direction of this column that contains the two rows is set to horizontal. So they're next to each other but I want them on top of each other, so we change it to vertical. There we have it. Then we need to make some changes to this row on the top. It has a fixed width because it also has a fixed width on top, but for now we don't need that, so let's change that to fill, so it will fill up all the space that is available. But then we create a fixed height of 75 pixels, and we make sure we fill it with the correct image, which is this one right here. Then we're also going to change the background image of the main row and we're going to change it to this image. And then we're going to take a look what this section looks like on the mobile viewport because that's what we're building it for. So as we take a look, 
this looks good but the text looks quite big so let's make sure that's actually a bit smaller let's say 32 well we can make it even bigger 40 maybe 36 will work perfectly 20 will still work here and the 20 font size will also work in the button then i want to align or distribute this text from the bottom so we select this row and we make sure that we distribute it from the bottom then there's one more thing that we can do and that is right now there's inside spacing of 60 which is quite the amount on a mobile device so let's change the spacing inside on the left and right to 40 this already looks better let's make the text even bigger i would say 42 that fits perfectly and now we have two different sections but i only want to showcase this section on the mobile viewport and showcase the other section on all the other viewports so to accomplish this we select the top row the first hero section so to say we go to the mobile viewport and then here on the right we click on height then only this section is visible which we also want but if we go to the other viewports this section is also still visible so let's go to the desktop viewport and then we hide this section on the laptop it's hidden on the tablet it's hidden but now it's also hidden on the mobile viewport so let's showcase it again and now it's ready so on the mobile viewport we only showcase this second hero section so to say you can see that this first hero section is hidden as soon as we move to a larger viewport it switches around now this bottom or the second hero section is hidden and the first one is visible and this gives us the desired result also if we publish this all looks great then we go to the mobile viewport and then we see the custom built mobile section now let's give this section a name and then we can publish it to our shopify store so let's go to section settings we call this rich wallet and then we click on publish to add this to our shopify store it's published and now we can customize the theme here we are in the Shopify theme editor and let's add a section to our homepage. Add section, search for rich wallet and there it is. It looks great on the laptop viewport. Now let's go to the mobile viewport and the custom built mobile viewport is now visible. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you have a good understanding on how to create a true mobile optimized experience. Thanks for following along and good luck.